Okay, so in this tutorial we'll be having a look at velocity or rather the uh, coloring the launch pads. So um, I'm gonna keep it really simple for you guys, especially if you don't have a launch pad pro. All you need to know is this this basically this knob will change the color of your of your launch pad. Um, so if for example um, the Launchpad Pro, only the squares are velocity sensitive, so you can see here, depending on how hard I press, I'm sending a certain velocity value out into Ableton and getting the same value out. So if I press it really hard all the time, I'll always get this orange kind of thing, and you really need to smash it on the Pro. But if I press this, it, it's not velocity sensitive, so it will always send out the maximum value, which is 127. And all of the other Launchpads, um, all of the buttons behave like this. So this is an exception. So um, all you have to do is just drag this down around and say, for example, 47, I know that's blue. And then you'll get blue and you just keep on pressing it and you can see whatever color you want. So um, say, I don't know, you like this, um, this pink, for example, there you go. And you just keep on changing the value um, until you get the desired result. Now for the Launchpad Pro, it's a bit more difficult. So say you want 47. Uh, so what you can do is change this to 47 and yeah, if you hit the key hard enough You'll always get blue, but if you hit it lower if you hit it gently you'll always get a different value and you Still won't get blue and that's because this is like a ceiling, right? So it's saying whatever is um, Whatever is higher than this take that down to 47 But that doesn't take in account what's lower than it so in this case, if I'm sending like 20 in, it's lower than 47 and it will just let 20 pass. So what I have to do is set 47 as low too, and that will set the right um, output. And you can also do this with um, two launch pads, two uh, velocities if you want. So you don't always have to change um, uh, two numbers at the same time. So let's just start, start, start from scratch and take the output low and just put 127 and that will make it behave See, this is always sending 127, but now this is also sending 127 because anything that's less will just be bumped up to 127. So this is the range. This is the lowest value that will be output. So we're sending it to 127 and this is the highest value. So now the signal is going into here and you can see here it's quite low. So um, I'm pressing it gently and you can see different values. Now I'm still pressing it gently, but I'm always getting that orange, which is the maximum value. And um, and now if I change the output high, so I know the highest value will always be 127, so I don't need to worry about this anymore. But if I change the output high, I'll get different colors. So that's how you can do it for the Launchpad Pros without always like changing it for two um, results. Just put a velocity in at the beginning of all of, all of your effects, and then you can change it um, at the end of your effect. So traditionally, you'd have something like this. We saw the chord in the previous tutorial. So you have just the input velocity, and you change that so it's always 127. Say we want a row, oops, a row like this. So now we've got a row, and then you have your output velocity after, after the effect, okay? So maybe we have this um, and light up a uh, quadrant. Um, so like uh, a quarter of the launch pad, then you just put the velocity at the end of it. So one at the beginning and one at the end. And um, that will do the trick for the Launchpad Pro. So I'll just explain the other values um, for the Launchpad and for the velocity and how this graph works, which is kind of important. So if you have a look here, the way it works is imagine it as X and Y. So the X is what is coming in. So it's basically the signal that's coming into this effect. And um, the Y here is what is coming out. So basically, if we have a look here, um, the output high and the output low are always changing vertically. You see, this is, vert this is a vertical movement from this point, and this is a vertical movement from this point. You can see the line is always going completely horizontally across. So basically, these two, as it says, is outputs. And it's the high output, so, the mac so starting from the highest point, the highest Y, and then the low output starting from the highest, um, from the lowest y. Then you've got range, which is basically, if you see here, it's changing the x, okay? So that's basically changing the input. And uh, what you should know here is you've got this mode. Operation, by the way, is just, uh, just leave it for both because it's stupid. Relative velocity just means it will apply only two note offs 
and velocity just means it will only apply to no ons. Um, so that's stupid. Um, there's no use for it. Um, same as drive and compress, and basically what drive means is it will drive the low values a bit higher, and compression means it will take um, what's very quiet or very loud and make them kind of in the middle or opposite here. Um, so that's what compression does. And random just means you'll generate a value, ran, uh, a random value. So if, again, we take the velocity in and set the output low, so it's um, always the same. You see, here it's always the same, it's always orange. But if I activate random, um, it will just color up with random values. So that's kind of how random works. And, um, okay, so we've had a look at that. The last thing to know is um, this mode goes with range. So range, for example, we can say, okay, let's put like 64, like kind of halfway here. Um, and remember, we're talking about the X, so what's being input. So basically what we're saying is the range um, uh, for the input is only from one to 64. And this only applies for, for the Launchpad Pro, by the way. So if, you're, if you don't have a Launchpad Pro, you can completely skip this. Um, so basically now, if I'm sending something lower than 64, um, it, will, um, it will pass. But also if I send it to something higher, it will still pass. And that's what, because it says clip here. The mode is clip. So, um, so basically, um, it basically says, okay, it's out of range. You're pressing and you're sending 127. Just knock it down to whatever it is. It, it will still let it pass. Gate instead means if I press it gently, it will still send it. But if I press it hard, you see it won't turn on anymore because I'm, I'm sending in a value that's greater than 47. And fixed instead is exactly the same thing as what we did before. Um, it turns off the range and will always send it as the maximum value. So it's the, so you see, again, it's always sending as orange. So fixed is another way of doing what we did before. Um, when we just set the output low to 127. So the lowest output will always be um, the maximum value, basically. So basically doing this, we don't need this, actually. Doing this, setting the output low, is exactly the same as doing this and setting it to fixed. It will always send out 127. And you can see here, by the, um, by the output value here with the dots, it's always 127 here and here. So that's velocity. Um, I pretty much went into depth there. Um, but yeah, now you know exactly what it does. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.